game bars. Hi, I'm Peter Gutman of Showtime Entertainment. We're here at Madison Square Garden in the heart of New York City to kick off our campaign to find the funniest person in America. Now, we've chosen New York to inaugurate our search because it is the melting pot of our nation. Now, bizarre as this may sound, we're going to be rolling across our country over the next few weeks through towns and villages near you to find, capture, and bring back alive the funniest person in America. Go. Okay, sir, we were told by very authoritative sources that cab drivers in New York City are the funniest people in America. Do you care to comment on that? What do you mean by funniest? Well, encountering the most humorous situations, uh, having philosophies on life, being able to expound endlessly on various stories of humor. Well, it used to be all timers, you know. And today, it's a different type of people. There's a younger crowd. Uh huh. And, and in general, you know how the younger people they are. It's just like everywhere. You know? Oh, you're in this uh, older crowd. Is that what you're trying to say, uh, very tactfully? Well, it could be. Could be. My, well, my hair is gray, so I must your hair is gray. I, so I, I don't think it's going to show up in this particular segment. Could you yes. tell us a little bit about what some humorous things that have been happening to you today? You've been driving now since five after four o'clock. How long have you been driving for? Uh, from 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm sure you've found some interesting uh, things you can tell us about that were humorous. Not today. Not, not today. Today's a dry day. Is that what it looks like? It looks like a dry day for this cab driver in New York City. Well, how about at home? Uh, things started out pretty funny or not really? Just normal. Do you think you have to have a sense of humor to live here in New York City? It's a nice city. It's a big city. It's the biggest city in the world. Nice people. But do you think but, that but, you have but, to but, laugh but, to survive here? No, you just you just have to work hard to make you a living. You just have to work hard at driving a cab. Okay, yeah. thank you very much, sir. If someone were to come up on the street, now this is just hypothetical, of course, and they were to ask you who you thought the funniest person in America was, who would you say? Richard Brown. Jimmy Carter? Uh, Jimmy Carter. Carter. Why Jimmy Carter? Poor Jimmy. Do you think he has a good sense of humor? Jimmy? Yeah. I don't think Pretty so, hysterical no. hysterical man, you think? Eddie Murphy. How about you, sir? You look like a person who's got flawed more than once or twice in your life. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about what you find funny living here in New York City? Gee, I guess I, uh, I begin not to see the funny things anymore. Is that what's been happening lately? Yes, yeah. I think that New York City is uh, full of tragedy. Full of tragedy, huh? Yeah. But do you think that in order to survive here, you sort of need to develop your sense of humor? I think you have to develop a sense of self-protection. I don't know if a sense of humor does you any good or not. Sense of humor doesn't do you any good against a weapon. Is that what you're trying to say? I'm trying to say. That's yeah. what you're trying to say. Okay, sir, thank you for talking with us. That was a philosopher on the street near Madison Square Garden in Midtown Manhattan. Where am I? Who took my picture? Pathetically, of course. If someone were to come up to you on the street and ask you who you thought the funniest person in America was, how would you respond to that? Uh, I'd say right now Eddie Murphy. Right now, right now Eddie Murphy. Why do you like him? Um, hey, he's hot. He's funny. He's nasty, mean, in pain. All the elements of humor are there. You think those are the qualities you need to be humorous here in New York City? A little more nastiness, perhaps, in a city like this? Yeah, and lots of pain, too. And lots of pain thrown in as well. Do you think New York's humor is a little different from the other kinds of humor you might encounter across the country? Other than better? Other than better? Yeah, I'd say so. You do. How does it differ, do you think? Uh, I, uh, that differentiates it from the rest of uh, the world. And why do you think that cutting edge is there? Hey, it's faster here. It's better. It's meaner. And there's always somebody behind you. Okay, let me ask... That's page says. I said that there may be something coming up behind you, huh? You got it. Okay, let me ask you this. It's now uh, 10 minutes after 4. How many times have you laughed out loud today so far? Um, I guess as I leave this, uh, it'll probably be the first. Would you care to demonstrate for us on national television what you sound like when you're laughing at something you find very funny? Not at all. Uh, if we were to throw in a 17-inch Admiral Color television set for the best laugh that we heard this afternoon, uh, would that change your mind any? Um, no, I have a Trinitron I'm quite happy with. Thanks. Okay, well, thank you for speaking with us. Bye -bye. A man on the street in the heart of Midtown Manhattan in front of Madison Square Garden.